Welcome aboard, nigga. Y'all on my shit. I took this shit over for the day. Yo, what is good? You already know what it is, man. It's your boy Tev. <laughs> Back at it again, we got another video, man. Today, we got some Conway the Machine, man. Finally got another single coming from God Don't Make Mistakes. Um, John Woo Flick featuring Benny the Butcher and West Side Gun. And yeah, man, finally got a hard date for uh, God Don't Make Mistakes. Supposed to be coming out on the 25th. Um, and this is pretty much the cover art for God Don't Make Mistakes, I'm pretty sure. Not too much to say in the beginning of this video, man. I really just am waiting for the album to come out. Uh, Shady keeps playing all these damn games with this release, man. It was supposed to be released a long ass time ago. So at this point, bro, I'm just ready for this shit to come out. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, man, let's go ahead and check this track out, man. John Woo Flick. Let's get it. Liking the guitars up on there. This is dangerous. It's going to be a dusty ass beat. Tell them rap niggas we taking over. Had to change the flow up. Now I'm in the Maybach, sipping a spade mimosa. Mm. Take a big and make a quota with the baker. That soda. double, that kind of double on Tanzer with switching the flow up. Now he's in the Maybach. Okay. I mean, that's a that's definitely a, a game line, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know games are going to track, you know what I'm saying, whenever he's talking about a fucking Maybach. Mm. Take a big and make a quota with the baker soda. Pray that you're Make a quota with the baker soda. Spray is over. <laughs> Jehovah. Okay, hold on, bro. Now I'm in the Maybach, sipping a spade mimosa. Take a big and make a quota with the baker soda. Pray that Jehovah came with the shoulder straps. Pray it's over. Pray that Jehovah. Okay, bro. Okay, okay, bro. Playing with the words. I got you, dog. If I say so, spray a roller, spray the hold up. Niggas, gun fellas like Ray Liotta. Spray 80, the baby woke up. Spray 80, the baby woke up. Yo, chill. The niggas over there be wild. And catch your body, throwing bullets like Aaron Rodgers. I'm looking at these rap niggas like, is there a problem? It's probably like the middle of your head like Larry Johnson back in the day. I'm tired of hearing old niggas talk about back in the day. I ride around with two things. That's a Mac and a K. Act like I play, I'm pulling up and I'm going to blast you away. I need to see the money pile over. My suit coming off the bench. Like Kyle Corver, mm. had the body for basketball the bars. I'm Kobe Bryant on my team. I'm the fucking close in. Sway 80, the baby woke up. Kobe Bryant on my team. I'm a closer. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Pretty much fucking five seconds left up in the game. Don't worry, bro. I'm going to be the one to close the damn game up with the last shot. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. Always got them NBA bars. NBA, NFL, fucking soccer. Compared to Rizza, I'm compared to niggas that have stabbed you in your face with a pair of scissors. Damn, you compared to Rizza. I'm compared to somebody that stabbed you in the face with, like, with a pair of scissors. It's the street shit. Every, everything, everything we live about. It's just that, it's just that grimy shit, bro, that Conway brings, you know what I'm saying? Um, as far as Danger being compared to RZA, bro, like, it's hard to say, but it's like, bro, like, there are so many fucking producers out that kind of outgrew the past, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, because, of course, RZA is, like, one of the one of the best, you know, one of the pioneers. It's hard to say, you know, somebody's, you know, a little bit better than somebody that pioneered it, but... You know, producers nowadays are so much more ahead of their fucking time that, you know, like, they kind of outgrew RZA a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And I'll just put that out there. Um, but there's no denying that he's literally one of the greats. You know what I'm saying? His Mac, I'm clearing the fists. Benny. Enough shooters on my team to embarrass the Pistons. Nigga, the track, <laughs> Enough shooters on my team to embarrass the Pistons? Come on. That's it. I need a pile of dirty cash or somewhere I can risk it. Uh -huh. This for mm. my niggas in the fair it's just that grimy shit i'm leaving with your daughter if you can't pay me these ogs around me real veterans my shooters real reckless it take a lot for me to feel threatened the one thing that i'll say bro is i love benny's delivery is just so hard you know what i'm saying like out of everybody in the group i just love benny's delivery the most the way that he just you know, delivers his bars the way his cadence is, bro. It's just hard. Asking real questions. Like, what? like is you still hustling? Your videos, you using 
What do you say? <laughs> no comment, you know what I'm saying? He's talking about people up in these interviews asking him real questions about his life. He really about this life. He really doing that. Like, come on, bro. If somebody's really about that life, you think they're about to tell you that, like, directly on camera, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that's why this is, you know, within the music and shit like that. Like, I've been seeing shit on the internet about um, Jay-Z pretty much coming together with a few other people trying to, you know, pretty much stop being able to use, you know, um, music as incriminating evidence and shit like that. Um Shit, bro. Like, my thing is, bro, if you put yourself at that risk of putting this shit on the internet and talking about it, bro, and, you know, you're putting, you know, direct stuff into your music about, like, what you're doing and shit like that and what you did, by all means, bro, you're just, you're just dumb at that point for fucking putting yourself out there. The ones to move. I got the call about it before I seen it on the news. Like brown interior, the seats peanut butter too. The whole gang be doing life if we leave it up to you. <laughs> so much D, I thought I was Kim Jong. That fashion shit, bro. That fashion, that fucking grimy talk, bro. Nobody's doing it like Wes. Once again, I always say this shit, bro. Like, nobody can make that perfect mix that he does. You know what I'm saying? I'm wearing gloves in the summer. This is a grimy track, bro. This is grimy. All right, man. That was John Wu Flick with Benny the Butcher, West Side Gun, and Conway the Machine, produced by Danger. And yeah, man, it's a cool track, man. Nothing crazy outlandish, man. It's just a typical Griselda track, you know what I'm saying? Um, got some grimy bars up on here, NBA bars. Benny talking about the Pistons. You know, Conway talking about being the, the last shooter like uh, like Kobe. And, you know, them just talking that really grimy shit over here, talking about, you know, Spray 80, the baby woke up, so on and so forth. West Side Gun coming in with that normal fashion, grimy talk all in the same time. Um, and yeah, man, it's, it's just a cool track. You know what I'm saying? Nothing outlandish, nothing crazy as hell. Um, but I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's a cool, it's a Griselda track, bro. It's cool. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, if you think it's anything more, you know what I'm saying? Let me know in the comment section down below. But what I'm getting from it, it's just a cool track. You know what I'm saying? Um, nothing that I'll be fucking sitting here going crazy over. Like, oh shit, this shit is fucking the craziest shit out. You know what I'm saying? Um, but it's dope. It's dope, it's cool, it's Griselda, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, what'd you think about it? Did you like it, did you not? Let me know in the comment section down below, man. You already know what it is. It's your boy, Tev. I'll catch you on another video, man. I'm about out of here. Peace.